What's going on? How y'all doing? So you already know when I saw that Nashville explosion, that's white militia all the way. Who are we kidding? Driving an RV? See, I know I'm going to make light of it, but it's a very serious matter. But there are white crimes, there are black crimes, the Mexican crimes. You can always tell. Think about it. RV, bomb explosion. We going to have a bomb. That's white all the way. That's white militia all the way. That's one of them Trump folks. They asking Trump what he think. He's shooting golf. He ain't thinking about that. He probably must think, well, you know, some bad people there and there's some good people there. He can probably say something real ignorant and odd, but you already know. In the South, downtown, blowing buildings up, you know what's up. You already know. You don't have to be Einstein. You don't know how to... You don't have to flip a Rubik's Cube and know that's a white crime all the way. So I lived in Nashville and I've been to Nashville quite a few times in my life. And um, it's a proud community. You know, it's it has its ways, etc. But it's a proud community. But, you know, this was an inside hit. You know, when buildings start jumping, first thing I thought of was like Oklahoma. from 1995 flashbacks. You know, Terry Nichols and... and uh, McVay. And you know that these sort of things are just inevitable. Political driven is a way to send out a warning shot. Now, I'm going to call it white militia. I'm going to call it one of them Trump boys, them prob all that, because it's all connected. The thing is, is that um, the real terrorists are here in the United States. People come over who do their crimes because they have, they infiltrate because they have inside leaks. But the real um, terrorists are here in the United States. And most of them are white males. The history speaks for itself. The country was founded on evil and violence in nature. And this is what they adhere to. They don't have what I call um, a balance of anything. They feel like they can do what they want, what they want. And it may sound harsh or, cr or cruel. It ain't. It's the truth. People know it. They just don't want to admit it. You know, this country still uh, edifies gangsters. They still edify Frank and Jesse James. They, they're the outlaws. They make movies about it. They romanticize. They glorify it. So why are you ever surprised? You know, the spies and everything are amongst you. There is no hidden nothing. So this was done inside. This was done as a political statement. And, you know, when people don't want to adhere to social distancing, wearing masks, but also don't want to adhere to the elections and so on. You know, it's all tied together. This ain't no mystery. This ain't chess. This is checkers. You can jump and see the king and the crown trying to jump you. You know, they try to do a long way, multiple jump. And this Nashville bombing has white militia spelled all over it. I don't know any other way to describe it. And my thoughts and prayers are with the people affected by it. However, you know what's up. You know who the real terrors are here. And you know what's been pushed and the agenda has been pushed. There ain't no secret. In a place that has the Ku Klux Klan and politicians and police and people who are set in their ways to cause bodily harm to people who are born and bred here and to do what they want to do, you know what their agenda is. They, they, they shots are fired. They did this on purpose. This wasn't by accident. This ain't just like, oh, we're just going to go down on the park, drive around and drive an RV. That's a white dude. <laughs> Setting up bombs, white. It all checks out the same. But the kind of catch you may see out parked outside Walmart, driving around with his Billy Bob truck, with his flag, toting, Blue Lives Matter and all everything else, trying to set up something because just... You know where it's going with this. It's sad, but that's the country and what we live in. And it ain't told properly in schools and it ain't told properly on the media. They're not going to tell you that the real terrorists look like Donald Trump. The same skin. No makeup. No fake. That's real news. That's real talk. All right, that's my thoughts and takes about the Nashville building, which to me equals white militia. The white terrors of America. But you give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And um, you know that when they stomping and protesting, 
you know what's the agenda. I ain't got to say nothing. I'm out.